Hello everyone, my name is Luis Dentinho, this is my wife Rose, and uh, today I would like to show you guys step by step how to put a good shoulder pressure. This will be fun. <laughs> so, let's right here, let's start here guys, on a happy guy. Okay, I want to focus on the shoulder only. I know that like, I have a knee to pass, all this kind of stuff. So, the first thing I need to think about. Rose, she needs to have the back flat on the ground so I can be able to trap that gun. This is very simple. Any fight, if she facing to me, right here, boxing, jiu jitsu, so anything, it's not good for me. So I need the angles. As soon as I put her back flat or look away from me, is when I'm safe and I can attack. So, so the first thing I need to do here is to grab the head. We have a many, many uh, different ways to. Okay, to get in this situation, but today I want to focus 100% on the shoulder pressure. So here, look, I'm going to make a grip in the middle of her back right here. And then I push, put her back flat on the ground. So now, second step, I want you, I will be bringing my elbow towards my knee, outside knee. As you guys can see, look, I can put my shoulder under her jaw right here. Okay? So I make a grip behind the back. Drive and I drive my elbow towards my outside knee. So, right now, to have a very good pressure, I'm going to look towards her hip. So, if you look, as you guys can see my leg, I feel it right here. I move right here, okay? Toes on the ground and I drive forward. I'm going to hold the leg to make sure she cannot deliver the pressure. Hold and pass it out. Let's talk about the detergent. Why I do all this step. So I make a grip. In the beginning, I think 2009 when I started this technique, I was making the grip right here in the armpit. The reason was because I was feeling my like like pain on my fingers. Okay, like uh, once I was making a grip right here behind the back. My, and I put my, my, my opponent's weight on top of my hand, I was hurting my fingers. Ten years later, like, like I'm okay. If you feel pain, just control the armpit. Okay? It's gonna be the same. So that feel much better right here. So I make a grip in the middle of the back, and I drive. Close the elbow. As soon as I close the elbow, I can put my shoulder on the whole collarbone right here. I don't want my shoulder on the face. Okay, shoulder and face, I can lose the control. I want my shoulder down with the collar going right here. It's a lot of pressure. Okay? So right now, I'm going to pivot on my outside leg so I can look toward the hip. The reason I had to look toward the hip is because if my head is on top of, of my opponent's shoulder, I don't have a shoulder pressure. So I need to put my shoulder down. So here, look, I pivot. I make a T-shape in her body. So right now, the only way she will have to, to, to alleviate this pressure is going to be by twisting the leg to the same direction of her face. So right now, I don't twist her, her spine anymore. Okay? So I make a grip, drive the elbow towards my knee, pivot, control the hip. I like to control right here, but you can hold the pants or you can hold the knee. I like it right here. I don't make any grip, I just hold right here. So now look, I drive all my way toward the neck. Feel you open. I don't worry about the legs. <coughs> Trust me, they're gonna open. Put your toes, put your toes on, the, on, the, on the ground and drive forward. I do this technique for like 10 years already, almost 11 years. And everybody opened the leg. In the beginning, I was fighting against the leg. But it's impossible for one arm to beat your legs. Okay, your shit is about like, uh, big muscle against small muscle. So, two leg is much stronger than my arm. So, I'm going to focus everything on the neck. If I want to be stronger than my opponent, first thing I need to think about is to disconnect my, my opponent. So right here, if she have a friend, she have strength. So I have to pass this. If she's sideways, if I try to grab the head, she have strength. Because she's like sideways facing to me and her spine is aligned. 
Okay? So what you need to do here, back flat on the ground. So right now she don't have this frame anymore. To this side, please. Right here, block my bicep, she can block. Back flat, block my bicep, she cannot. So before you grab the head, you have to put your opponent back flat to the ground. And then you can swim and then grab the head. Another way, after pass the frame, pass the frame, to make her don't have any strength right here, it's gonna be by twist the spine, okay? As soon as I twist her spine, I put the head facing to that direction, the leg facing to me. So right now, she, no way she, she's gonna be able to push me. So I do the back pivot, look toward the hip, keep your head down, drive forward. The more your opponent hold the leg, more weight and more pressure put on the neck. All right? 